This ultra portable Steam PC gaming machine is the GPD Win. Stick around to see what it is and what it can do. It's tech with time. Hey guys, Jonathan here with Tech Wiz Time, where I create technology tutorials and review videos. If you haven't subscribed, then make sure you do and hit that bell icon too. Playing Steam games on the go isn't as easy as it seems. Whenever you sacrifice size, you also sacrifice power. The GPD Win, on the other hand, is an ultra portable Windows gaming device. Full disclosure, I was sent out the unit to review from Gearbest. If you'd like to purchase one yourself, you can find the link in the description below. There might also be a coupon code there as well. In a previous video, I reviewed the Android GPD XD, which you can see up above or down below in the description. The GPD Win, however, is a full-blown handheld Windows PC. With a 720p 5.5 inch IPS touchscreen display, the GPD Win is small enough to fit inside your pocket or man bag. Having such a small screen with this device can be a little bit tricky to work with. With the latest version of Windows though, scaling up to 125% seems to make things a little bit easier to navigate. If you feel really daring, you can up that to 150%, but just note that programs like Steam won't go full screen. Windows 10 Home is included in the price as well. There are two main versions of the GPD Win produced, the older X7 Z8 700 CPU and the newer X7 Z8 750 version. This review is based on the aluminium Z8 750 version for those interested. From what I've researched, there's not a lot of difference between the two, but newer is better, right? The key selling point of a GPD Win is the inbuilt game controller, but it doesn't end there. Right in the middle of the device is a toggle switch which allows you to switch between a direct input device, a mouse mode and an X input device. Focusing on the mouse mode for now, the right analog stick will allow for cursor movement on screen. The L1 button will act as the left click and the R1 will be the right. After using this for a while, I prefer using this method over the touchscreen personally. As well as mouse controls, we also have a full-blown QWERTY keyboard. You won't be typing any novels with this, but it is handy for when you need it. Just like its younger cousin, the GPD XD, the controls lack clickable analog sticks. Those buttons are over on the right with a few others to boot. From the top, we have the power and middle Xbox button for X input games, volume up and volume down, L3 and R3, select and start, and print screen and scroll lock. The ABXY layout also includes the PlayStation symbols for emulated games as well. Over on the rear, we can see the L1, L2, R1 and R2 buttons. Clicky only, sorry guys. And then we have some ports, USB-C for charging, mini HDMI out, a micro SD card slot, USB 3 slot and a 3.5mm jack. Underneath the device, we have the fan switch being off, medium speed and full speed. Full speed is a little bit loud, but the medium speed isn't really noticeable at all. With all that out of the way, let's talk specs. The X7 Z8 750 is a quad-core 1.6 GHz Atom processor which can burst up to 2.56 GHz. The inbuilt GPU is an Intel HD Graphics 405 chip with enough power to run up to Nintendo GameCube games, which is a huge plus. RAM comes in at 4 GB, which is the bare minimum for Windows these days. Bluetooth 4.1 is a very nice addition, and Wi-Fi speeds come in at up to AC speed. Let's get on to storage. If you're going to be Steam Gaming on the GPD Win, I would highly suggest a Samsung 128GB USB 3.0 flash drive fit from Amazon. Phew, that was a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> Triple your storage for less than $40. Links for that one are in the description below. The micro SD card speeds are around half to a third of the USB 3 speed, so only use the micro SD card slot for ROMs or a little bit of extra storage. Battery life on the GPD Win is fairly decent too, with a 6700mAh battery. Good for up to 5 hours of gaming in most instances. Alright, let's talk about emulation first, and then native PC gaming. The GPD Win is powerful enough to emulate most consoles as high as about the Nintendo Wii in some circumstances. Here we have new Super Mario Bros. Wii and Mario Kart Wii playable. Other Wii games do work, but don't expect any miracles. With a little bit of tweaking, most GameCube games will run at a fairly decent FPS. Nintendo 64, PSP, PS1 and Sega Dreamcast are mostly fine with the odd few not performing. When it comes to PS2 games though, it's a little bit of hit and miss. Some work okay, whereas most don't achieve that minimum 30 FPS. In a future video, I'll be putting together a bunch of tips for optimising the GPD Win for better FPS and better battery life. Make sure you've subscribed and have notifications turned on for that one. Now, on to PC gaming. This is where the GPD Win shines in my opinion. Whilst you're not going to be running at AAA titles like Grand Theft Auto V or Overwatch, you can still tackle a huge pile of that Steam back catalogue. 
With a little bit of tweaking, Fallout 3 was perfectly playable. Even smashing zombies in Dead Island was a blast. Most indie game titles should be fine as well. I managed to complete my childhood favourite, Wonderboy Dragon's Trap, on the GPD win without any problems. Here's a list of over 200 games on screen that run great on the GPD win. Pause the video right now to get a good idea of what you can accomplish. Gaming is what the GPD win was made for, but you can still do other Windows things on it as well. If you really wanted to, you could edit videos on this using Adobe Premiere Pro or do some voice typing in Google Docs whilst on the bus or train. Please don't do that. But with all great things come some downsides. If I had to be picky with the GPD win, it would be the lack of clickable analog sticks and pressure sensitive LNR triggers. Also, if you're looking for a powerhouse like the elusive Smart Z, then look away. The GPD win is the closest you will get to a portable Steam gaming machine for now. With all that said and done, if you are looking for something like the GPD XD, but with a little bit more power, then the GPD win is one of the best choices out there, especially for a Windows handheld PC. If you're interested in purchasing one for yourself, then check out the link below. And if you're getting quick, there might also be a coupon code for you to use too. Is there any games you'd like me to test out on the GPD win? Then leave me a comment to let me know. Consider subscribing to TechWiz Time if you love all things technology. Already a subscriber? Then click on the bell icon to get instant notifications of my new videos. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it. And as always, imagine, learn, create.